Hello everybody. So in this video, we're going to look at characteristics of CS amplifier, which is common source amplifier. Common source amplifier means that the source is grounded. The input is applied between the gate and the source. The output is measured between the drain and the source. Okay. So notice that there are no power supplies in the circuit. That means I'm only showing the small signal part of it. Right, so whenever uh, remember this input is superimposed on a DC voltage, the DC voltage uh, is set according to what gain we want. Right, refer to the previous videos on how we do that. So here I'm only concerned about the small signal analysis part. Therefore, I'm only showing the AC signals. So usually there is a power supply here, but since uh, I'm only concerned about AC signals and the power supply is a constant voltage. As long as AC is concerned, it's it's zero. So that is why the power supply became a ground. Okay. So now in the in the common source amplifier, what we want to calculate three different properties of an amplifier, and and then in general there are three different characteristics or properties of amplifier we're interested in. First is RI, which is the input impedance or the input resistance. And then RO, which is the output resistance. And then AO, which is the open circuit voltage gain. Okay, so again, we know that for a good amplifier, good voltage amplifier, RI should be very low, ideally zero. Oh, sorry, RI should be very high ideally infinite, so that the amplifier doesn't draw any current from your source. RO, which is the output impedant, should be low, ideally zero. Since this is a voltage amplifier, if RO is zero, that means no matter how much current you draw from the amplifier, the output doesn't change. And AO is uh, is the gain of the amplifier. And this is, you know, is according to what, what our design specifications are. Okay, so now uh, we'll, we'll try and calculate all these three for the common source amplifier. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is I want to replace my MOSFET with a small signal model. Now, since source is grounded, uh, it's usually easier when the source is grounded to use the PI model. So I'm going to replace the MOSFET with the PI model. The input is going to the gate, which is the ground. And between the drain and the source, I have a current source in GM VGS. Okay. And then between the drain and the ground, I have RD. And I'm measuring the output here. Okay. So, all right. So let's first consider our input impedance RI. That means, what is the impedance look, input impedance looking in here? Right. So that means if I apply current uh, voltage VI, how much current is going in, and I measure the current going in, and then my input impedance RI is VI over I. Okay. Since the current going into the gate is zero, this will be infinite. So RI is infinite, which is what I want, or for a, which is what we want for a good amplifier. Okay. So that's good. In general, if you have a biasing circuit, there may be a resistance here, in which case that resistance would be your input impedance. But we'll get to biasing circuits later. Okay. So next, uh, let's consider the open circuit voltage gain AO. That means open circuit voltage gain means you don't connect any load resistances at the output and then measure what the uh, uh, measure what the gain is, right? So in this case, whatever VO is, AO will be equal to by definition VO over VI, right? Since this is an open circuit voltage gain because we're not connecting any load resistance here, right? So, okay, so in this case, VGS is equal to VI, right? So this current is VGM VG, VI. So it means current in this direction is GM VI, okay? So that means my VO is negative GM VI RD and my voltage gain AO is equal to VO divided by VI which is equal to negative GM RD. So this is your gain. Open circuit voltage gain. Okay, now let's consider my output impedance 
RO looking from outside. Right? So remember, when we're trying to measure output impedance of, a, of any circuit, what you do is you zero out all your sources and then measure the input, output impedance. Sometimes it will be clear by looking at the circuit what the output impedance is. If it's not clear, apply a voltage and look at how much current is going in and then the output impedance would be v, the voltage divided by the current. Okay. So in this case, if you zero out all the input sources, that means VI will be zero. That means this current source will be zero. If, a, if it's a zero current source, that means you just open it. So all that remains is just this resistance. So RO will be equal to RD. That's the output impedance. All right, so let's summarize this. For a common source amplifier, my input impedance is infinite. My open circuit voltage gain is negative GMRD. And my output impedance RO is equal to RD. Okay.